Hey, this is Dr. B, and the topic for today is scientific notation. Here's a number. Let's convert it to scientific notation. To do that, make it between 1 and 10 by drawing a line. That should do it. And then count the number of digits to the decimal place, which is hidden right there. There's four of them. Therefore, this number is 1 times 10 to the fourth. To be proper, scientific notation should always begin with a number between 1 and 10 and end with 10 to some power. Therefore, 217 times 10 to the third is not proper scientific notation. Let's take 212 and turn it into scientific notation. 2.12 should be between 1 and 10. That's our line right there. And there's two numbers placeholders to the decimal place, therefore 2.12 times 10 to the 2. If we're going below 1, we do the same thing, but just count the placeholders to the decimal place in the other direction and make it a negative number. This would be 9.7 is between 1 and 10, and we have 1, 2, 3 digits to the decimal place, therefore 9.7 times 10 to the minus 3. Here's a giant number. This is known as Avogadro's number. And when you make that between 1 and 10, 6.02, blah, 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 you see 23 digits to the decimal place. Therefore, Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Don't worry if there's a negative sign. Just apply the same rules. And here we're going from a number to, I'm sorry, scientific notation to a normal number. So this says multiply it by... 1,000, which means three decimal places to the right, minus 2860. This says four decimal places to the left, no problem. The nine takes up one of them, and the other three zeros do the rest. So that is 9.742 times 10 to the minus 4 expressed as a regular number. Let's practice doing this using our scientific calculators, since you're generally allowed these on a test or in any class. Most students have this kind here, which is a TI-type calculator. I'd like you to get in the habit of using your EE button. On some calculators, it shows up as an EXP, or a times 10 to a power button, or an E button. But in any case, find it and get used to it. On the TI calculators, you have to use the second function, which drives me crazy. But after all, it's just one more keystroke, so not that big a deal. So you have to do second comma. On most other calculators, it's right out there up front. Go figure. OK, so if we wanted to enter 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, since that EE button means times 10 to a power, here it is, 3 times 10 to the 8th means 3 E 8th. Of course, it's EE there, but let's just call it E. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd can be entered as 6.02 E 23 not 6.02 e 10 to the 23 no caret button notice this involves no parentheses it's a better way to do it that's why they did it there if we want to use the uh do some multiplication that's not a big deal three times 10 to the minus two multiplied by minus 4.2 times 10 to the minus fourth well what are the keystrokes three e minus two multiply negative not subtract negative which is right there, uh, 4.2e, negative 4. So there it is, 3e, negative 2, multiply, negative 4.2e, negative 4. That is much faster than doing the parentheses, the caret, and getting it all wrong. Let's translate this. It must mean 3 times 10 to the minus 0.42 power. And by the way, when you punch it in, that's what you get. Some calculators will set up to give you a scientific notation. Some will give you a regular number. Either one's the same value. Let's practice doing um, uh, some simple multiplication here. 2e1 multiply 1e1 gives you 2e2, which is 2 times 10 to the second, which is 2 times 100, which is 200. This is scientific notation.